Listen, if you are new to podcasting and you're looking to get into it, Anchor is the way to go. Anchor is a free podcasting platform. It allows you to edit, record, upload, add music, completely all in one tool. Not only that, but it distributes your podcast across all platforms and has no minimum listenership to allow you to start gaining ad revenue. If you are new to podcasts and are looking to get your podcast out there, I definitely recommend Anchor. You can download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Last time on Utopia Podcast. The group of comrades decided to murder the mother wolf, taking her puppies for themselves to raise and train. They made their way from the wolf cavern into the city where they realized it was payday from the keepers. Being beaten down from the battle, they found respite at the drunken stump where they conversed with Myth, received their monthly payments, and even erased some debts. They get into an existential type conversation, and that is where we find the party. Can I be of any more help to you all? Lots of tables uh, around, lots of people to help. You wouldn't know, uh, well, actually, would Livy know when the, um, Guildmast, uh, when they close up shop? The would guard? They be a, yeah, the guardmaster, sorry. Yeah, uh, there, there is someone always located at the city guard that Livy would know, but I don't know, um... You tell me, has Levy had any run-ins with the law? No, he's he's annoyingly straight-edged. Yes, yeah, and he wouldn't really know like when the master of the guard and things are are in. You you would probably assume that uh probably are god for the day. If it's a normal quote unquote job. Is the um the women the woman from uh, last night? Would she happen to be here by any chance? Oh, uh, Oeta, no, uh, I actually haven't seen her today. And you see a little look of concern kind of flash over. Normally she comes in on, on the keeper day, uh, to, uh, stock up on an, on ale, but actually I, you're, I haven't seen her today. Would, uh, would, would it be presumptuous to ask where she lives so I can check up on her. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, she's, uh, you go out to the main road here and take a left, and she's one of the only cottages close to the, the port, just close to the docks there. Okay, left. You can look for the, the house with the, the walnut door. Kind of unusual for these homes, but she chose it distinctly. We, we've been here a long time, her and I, uh, traveling and immigrating during the war, and... Yes. You've known her a while. Oh, yes. Over 150 years now, probably. Well, it is a while. Mm-hmm. I will make sure she is... I will, uh... Um, Z- uh, Z- uh, Levy will 
check on anyone. Does anyone want to come with me, or I can go alone, if, uh... I'll come. Don't, okay, don't here, you here. think Seriously. you should get some rest there, Livy? You're barely standing. Rest is for dead. I will be right back. <laughs> well, we were almost that, that earlier. Means you should get plenty. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh... I just want to make sure she is all right. If anything bad happens, I will run as fast as wind. He gives you a thumbs up and gives like kind of like a weary smile. But thank you for worrying. All right. Well, let me know what you find. And at this point, while you all have been talking to Miff, he's grabbed a few different drinks and has it on a tray and is taking it out the back around the bar to the tables, uh, divvying them out to his other clientele. Noise. Yeah, so Livy and Ziba. Yeah. As you stand on the up road to again. Ziba like kind of like compares your height. I'm, I'm like a taller than you. Why does everyone think I'm the kid? It is my dignified face. Well, you were pretty enough. And I don't scream that I'm an adult. <laughs> that probably helps. <laughs> People tend to think you're more mature when you don't scream about your adulthood. Well, I wouldn't have to if people would stop questioning it all the time. I find a good deterrent is when people say you're a child to just smirk at them and it don't pay attention to it. It makes them look very foolish and dumb. Hmm. I'll try. Or be like, yeah, okay, sure, I am the child. Alright, what is uh, the rest of the party doing as Livy and Ziba leave? Leofrich got his uh, proverbial poo-poo pushed in by a wolf, so he's ready to take a take a breather. All right, uh, your room is still available. Well, I will be in my room if you need me. Knock first, and he kind of pauses his gaze on Keg. You know where to find me, preferably. Don't. All right. How about Kagan Anchor? Proceeds up the stairs. Uh, I will get a room. All right. It's uh, three silver a night. Uh, Keg. Reaches into the bag of gold and hands a gold. All right, and change is made. You get seven silver back. Cake's favorite. Oh, Cake, Cake doesn't wait for the... Ch- uh, Cake, Cake doesn't take the change, but just takes the key or whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, Miff goes, wait, 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 wait. Uh, don't you want your change? Change is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Keg holding his five puppies is just going to walk up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> All right then, I'll just put it as a credit. And Miff just writes down on a ledger next to the bar that you have credits with him. Oh, do you have milk? Yeah. Do you want some milk? Where'd you find those pups? They look pretty young. Enough. For five. Sure. Uh, he pours you a bowl of milk. I'll take it off your credit. I will come back down for it. Okay. Don't let them use the restroom inside. He calls after you as you go up the stairs. Keg doesn't know what that means. <laughs> awesome. All right, what's Anchor doing? 
Uh, Anchor's going to do what he did last time we stayed here, which is just uh, find a corner of the tavern, stand in it, and hum for the entire night until somebody disturbs him. Right. <clears throat> Taking Using the sentry's rest feature. And as long as nobody's around him, they won't observe what happens, but... Cool. Yeah. It does seem rather strange. Uh, Anchor, you, you would notice, as you can see from the one direction of your working eye... Uh, the busy clientele of the inn just kind of giving you strange looks at first and then as the night progresses as they drink more and more ale you become more and more invisible to them sure long rest long rest all right Levy and Ziba you leave the drunken stump the cotton candy skies over the bay uh, are right in front of you, clear as evening. <laughs> and uh, you head to the direction that Miff told you to go. Are you are you trying to be sneaky, stealthy, or you're just walking normal? Just walking. Should All we right. be concerned in the city center? <laughs> Did he send us to a, what's looking like a rough neighborhood? <laughs> No, uh, it doesn't look very rough. It is the it's the dwarven dock, so um, it's it's a mix between you know uh, dwarven homes. Uh, you see families eating dinner through the windows. The candles are lit, um, and different dwarvish type people. Sort of like any of the main major cities that we have nowadays, where there's districts named after after the original settlers, and a lot of times they're still. Uh, a large population of that group uh, within those districts. But there are other uh, types of humanoids around. So you see the, the the off human, you know, a couple of tabaxi maybe mixed in there. Uh, but it seems like a kind of a suburban esque area of a larger okay. city. That's right. No, we're not thinking. Probably we feel safe um, here. After there are a little bit of ways. Uh, Livy will go uh, turn to Zib and be like, so what does a chest what does a chestnut look like? Walnut. It's a walnut. It's a it's a nut? It's it's definitely a nut. Um so my guess is it's a shade of brown. Okay. You, you look don't... around and you see all shades of brown doors. Well okay, he said it was Jesus. Elt main road left uh, near Fork House Walnut. Can I tell anything about the types of nuts? <laughs> um, all right. So as you head to the, the closest door, um, Ziva, you walk up onto the porch to examine it. You know a little bit about wood. You grew up on a farm. Uh, you you know what apple tree wood looks like, and you definitely um, helped your family with different types of carpentry and lumber jobs on the farm. Um, and you definitely know that this first house is not walnut. Not that one. You look around again, and you... You see the the doors are varying shades of brown, which clues you in that maybe it's different types of wood and has nothing to do <laughs> with nut. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that he's not talking about an actual walnut on the door at all. Hmm. What did I well... think they're made out of wood? Did he also, um, did he also say something about the red roof? He said something about the roof. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're making that up. Uh, but uh, Zippa just blinks at Libby. Can I roll a perception check to see yeah. if I can? Mm -hmm. From what he told told us, I have so many things open. Oh, oops, I accidentally... Ooh, well, that's an 18. All right. You have the same modifier. What? You have the same modifier for performance and perception. Oh, I accidentally rolled performance. 
That's okay. You can just use that 20 roll and add your, per- your perception modifier. So it's 15 plus. Yeah, it's just a 15. Okay. Oh, no, it's a, yeah, it's just a 15. Cool. Um, yeah, you look around and you see a, a cottage that seems well kept. Um, there is a barn in the backyard uh, and a small, not really a barn, it's more of like those uh, walk in stables with one stall. Um, there is blue painted stones on the outside and a straw roof over the top. And the door seems to be a warm, warmer color of wood um, with. It's fucking walnut, okay? I'm not going to We stare at it for a good 20 minutes and we're finally able to deduce. <laughs> Thick easy walnut, I think. This Can fuck I up's on me. I should have given think, you more I think, it, I think you're uh, no. right. I think it is. I think that was actually walnut. It might you let us be do wood. a goof. I'm so convinced it probably is wood, but it could be hmm. It could be the walnut we are looking for. Well, I think he was trying to describe the... I just don't know what kind of... I don't need. Well, that's, only that's one way gross. to find out. <laughs> um, can I roll an investigation board. check real quick to see if, like, if there was any break-ins or anything? Yeah, give me that roll. That <laughs> twenty. Whoa. All right. Um, what you see, Levy, is you as you approach. You see that the door is somewhat ajar in the frame. It looks like one of the hinges has been busted, and the lock itself has been broken. Um, you see a couple of different footprints uh, left over on the stone path um, of different shapes and sizes. This seems to be multiple people, and it's pretty fresh uh, mud from the morning rain. Um, as you push through the door, you see that the house itself has just been completely ransacked. Furniture is tossed over, uh, photo frames and things are thrown down onto the ground. Uh, the fire is just smoldering ashes. It's been out for maybe the whole day. Uh, and the kitchen, there's broken uh, dishes and broken pieces of, of things. The bed itself has been cut in half the straw strewn everywhere um someone has definitely been here <laughs> um, i'd say livy's gonna grab his short short sword i, I, um, I think even my nine past perception at that point ever seeing a bed cut in half would be like mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna put like a finger to his lips as in like quiet and he's gonna like try um like can can i tell with that invest how f- like this is fresh, fresh. Can I see, like, where they have gone? So I'm just going to start um, stealthing when you tell her to be quiet. You to you can tell that this is done. This was done at some point today, so it's worthy of caution. Um, but the mud on the footsteps you saw outside was dried on the stone. That leads up to the path of the house. Um, so there wasn't... there. It, it's not so soon that you... It wasn't so soon that you think that the danger still here. People are still here, uh, but there might there's a chance that there might be someone. Um, is there any blood? There is no blood. Um, I'm gonna also roll a stealth check. I don't. I I think I gave up my stealth. I think I gave up my good roll with that nat twenty. But we'll see. That's a nineteen. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, he gave up the good roll, but this one's still pretty damn good. Still pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm so scared. Next one's going to be a, a negative 20. And I rolled a 21, um, so we're doing pretty well and still pretty sneaky right yeah, now. Yeah, you guys are being quiet. You're watching where your feet are going. You're not stepping on any of the rubble as you move about the house. But what exactly are you looking for as I'm you... I'm going to either look for evidence to see like where they took her, like maybe if there's someone still here. Mm-hmm. If they left any clues behind. And Zippa will as well. Just just feel like she's being hopeful. Yeah. Zippa, you can give me another investigation check roll, but Levy will stick with your 25. Oh, I wasn't um, sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So as you're exploring the house, Levy, there, there's no blood. Um, you just get the sense that someone broke in here with ill will. And then didn't 
find or wasn't able to get to Oweta, um, you see one of the things that you find on the floor is a is a book. Um, you specifically being drawn to it. Um, and you pick it up and it looks like a book. Um, you flip through the pages and it looks pretty similar to your journal. There are dates uh, in the top left-hand corner and handwritten uh, items throughout the pages. And you can notice as you flip through that the handwriting changes. And as you start to read, you gain an understanding that this is a book that was passed back and forth between Oweta and Kepa. And it's almost like letters or missives that they wrote to each other through passing this book back and forth. Um, and it's nor- it's a lot of mundane things at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning, it starts maybe about a year ago. And as you continue to read the passages, if you want to take the time to do so, um, you would glean some more information. I do, but I also want to, like, check to see if maybe she's hiding. Mm-hmm. Zippa can keep yeah. me looking around the house. Like, like I want to check really see, like, to double check. No one is in this room with, like, no one is in this home with us. She's not hiding away. Can Zippa yeah. do that while you read it? Yeah, Zippa, you, your role um, as you walk through the opposite direction of Levy, you walk the whole house. It's literally just one bedroom, a kitchen, and a entry room with, uh, you know, a dining table and things. And there is no one else here that you can find. You can look out the back door with a small garden uh, and that little one stall uh, horse shed, and you see that the the door there has been left open. I'd say Zibbo with your like of horses and barns, maybe you are I drawn would to. I kind of want to go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go out there and you see that the saddle is missing, as well as a saddle bags. Uh, you can see sort of the hanger and the the slots where they would have been kept, um, and it looks like whoever did live here and kept their things for their horse here is no longer here, and the horse itself is nowhere to be found. But as you head around to the stall, there is some. Within the day, fresh manure left there. Some kiddish stained barns. <laughs> okay. Does <clears throat> it? Okay, I don't know if I can tell this with my fifteen investigation check, but does it appear as if like the someone clearly left here on a horse, but did they leave in a rush? Um, give me a nature or survival as you look for tracks. Mm, Same modifier, so. You have no idea. Yeah, it's a five. I do not know. I feel like I might, maybe I think I know, but I do not. (laughs) You see some hoof prints uh, left. Of course, definitely left here. If it was me, I would leave it hurry, so maybe. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Levy, as, as, uh, Ziba continues to look through and you continue to read the book Um, you see something similar to what you've seen in in your own journal of Kepa joining the church uh, joining, becoming an acolyte, this is a while ago uh, and talking about those days with fond memories and fond thoughts and feelings of Myshiria and those thoughts and feelings slowly begin to shift And she doesn't say it explicitly, but she begins to say to her mother in in means of coded language almost, that you're definitely smart enough to decipher, um, that she's losing her faith. And as you continue to flip through the book, um, it becomes more and more clear. She talks about trying to meet with someone that's associated with the Forgotten Ones to learn more about previous religions before Myshiria, um, trying to dive into how who this person is and where they came from. And then as you're skimming uh, in this short time, you see scrawled in all capital letters, kind of close to the end of the book, uh, follow your heart in all capital letters. Uh, And then at the end, on the very last page that was written on, dated about two weeks ago, it says, My Sharia is a lie. Yeah, Livy's gonna 
like put that away in his bag. Hmm. Ziba, as you uh, come back in from the stable through the back door, you go to push it open and it kind of it swings pretty easily with your strength and you it slams against the back, but you it slams a little farther out than the wall and you hear a, a metal and wood rattle against the wall from behind the door. That seems suspicious. <laughs> or- uh, yeah, Livy. Livy's gonna... What? What is wrong? Are you okay? I mean, I know I'm strong, but I, that doesn't typically happen, right? No. I but just look. They were built like that. Livy's Livy's gonna go. Um, he's gonna go to Ziva and try to like, examine that. Would that be yeah. a perception or an investigation? Oh, you just have to open the door. Um, okay. So <laughs> as you move the door uh, back, you look behind it, and you see a very ornately carved, very dwarven crafts- craftsmanship-created uh, warhammer. It has a long wooden handle, um, and as you investigate the hammer itself, uh, you see carved in the bottom of the hilt um, K-Paw. Isn't it a little odd if you're leaving in a hurry to leave behind such a nice weapon? It might. I mean, first thing I did when I left in a hurry was grab a weapon. If it is hidden, she might not have had time. Did you, were you able to look at anything, um, the, did you notice anything I did not? Uh, you, you went to these stables. What did you see? Yeah, I checked out the whole house. I mean, I know I'm not as, uh, maybe, well, I'm not what I always tell me I'm not the most observant or that I had cotton in my ears, but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no one else here. And I did check out the barn and I, it seems like someone took a horse and left. I feel like they didn't find whoever they were looking for. But if you knew they were coming, why would they be coming for you? And if you knew you had to leave in a hurry, why would you leave a weapon and this, and valuable other information behind? I don't know what's in it. It, um, could Livy also like roll a date? Like, um, can you show me where you, uh, can you show me the stables? Yeah. Would you mind if I looked as well? I mean, I I know stables pretty well, but uh, yeah, you can look. I mean, there's no reason not. Uh, I'm gonna roll a nature check if it's okay Mm -hmm. that's a 15 yeah Levi as you reevaluate where Ziba has seen the the tracks in the past and kind of points out you see a few tracks leading out to the main road that are very deep divots almost as if a horse was galloping from a stopped position out of here she didn't have time most likely uh, the only thing she could grab were the very essentials. There might have... Um, can I see, like, the footprints if they're in the same direction as uh, where the horse is? Yeah, um... The muddy tracks that led to the front door definitely traverse through the house, uh, and they walk around in circles of, as they're, of their varying sizes, you know, and they come out the back as well, and, and you can see the same varying size tracks walk back out from the back of the house to the main road, uh, but it would be hard, even with a natural 20, it would be hard to discern where they went once they reached the street or the time frame in which, you know, those prints came from. Like, if it doesn't look like anyone was running after her um, or running after the horse. They're all very steady paced is what I'm trying to say. This is my theory. She heard someone was after her, grabbed the very base essentials and booked it. The last entry was not from her. It, it appeared to be from her daughter. 
Um, so she might not have even known about the book's location, or maybe she was too frantic. It's difficult to say, but it seems either the church was after her or someone hired by the church. That is my theory. I don't have... Why do you think it's the church? Um, it, uh... Livy kind of pauses and he looks at Zibby like he knows she really likes Mysteria, but he also doesn't mm-hmm. want to bullshit her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it appears that... <laughs> um, all right. Uh, he'll like gesture you back to the stables and say in a low voice, it appears that um, the doctor was looking into previous gods and was trying to get information. I think that... Um, the church might be suppressing information I think they might be lying at least this is what this journal suggests lying about what? lying about lying about um, destroying it I think it seems to me that um they were after her because of her research. Into she learned something damning about the church. Yes, she, um, apparently what, what she learned was that. Ma- gods? Why would you need anyone besides Mashira? Well, her research seemed to suggest. Wait, there were gods before. What do you mean other gods? Are there other gods before Mashira? Like what? Yes. So Mashira actually, what she suggested was. I don't have her. She seems to think Mashiria wasn't real, which would be. That that's not true. Of course, Mashiria is real. How how else would the war have ended? She's the one who saved us. What do you mean? That is what I want to learn. One of the well, clearly she's wrong. Mashiria's not a lie. She's a hero. I'm gonna be a hero just like her someday. What are you talking about? That is the thing, Ziba. When you're a researcher, when you're a, a scholar, a historian, you sort of have to be the bearer. You have to look at history in a more neutral lens. What you learned growing up was one thing, pe- a tale, yes? No, it was what real. You- Everyone says it's real. Everyone knows that. My family wouldn't lie. To exactly. Me. They're not lying, it's faith. They believe it, but my job, I can't go on faith. I i have to read books and I have to go meet people and it's not a fun job sometimes. But it's not it's, just faith. Like things, things happen. Things, and that, that is proof. We learned about that in science class. There's proof and that's how you have hypotheses that turn into theories and you know, they, like th- the war did end. How else could it have ended? Ziba, she wasn't Ziba. real. What do you mean? I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. We have to. I have to read more on this. We have to learn. But we have to look at this from an open eye. Hi. Right. You know, we'll find her, and we'll just you know help her figure out until she realizes the truth. Whatever that Ziba. may be, I guess. Thank I said you. I guess. I know. I know, Zipa. I'm sorry. I... This is a lot of information. But I don't want to lie to you. I respect you. And I don't want to give you sweet lies. I don't want to be I lied to you I think you deserve either. the truth. I'm not a child anymore. I, think you I de- can take the truth. I know. That's why I'm telling you it. All right. If you want, I can. I'm going to have to. It's a. Uh, it's coded. The book. She clearly did not. Maybe um, the mother uh, p- presumed that no one could decipher their code. And that's why she was confident enough to leave it behind. Which, you know... Yeah, clearly she... 
underestimated me. Or maybe... Hmm. Maybe she didn't underestimate me. Maybe she knew one of, someone would be coming and left these as clues. So she only <sighs> wanted to be found by the right people? Exactly. She's scared. She needs help. No, well, we're gonna need help if we're gonna do anything about this. I agree. So, I am conflicted. I want to tell the rest of our party, but I also know, but minus Keg, that the rest of our party might have a violent reaction to this, or try to uh, rat these people out. But I we can't want to that. hear your opinion. The effort said lines wrong. He did. It's. I don't think lying is right, but I also know, or I don't know, I don't know Leo Fritch very well. I just don't want this girl to be hurt unnecessarily if she hasn't done anything wrong. And I know he is very loyal to the church. So we don't lie. We just don't tell them. Until we know what's really happening, right, as researchers? And then when everything works out, then we can tell. I... Because, you know, like, I know we need to look through it as researchers, but, like, we're going to find out in the end Monsieur is a hero anyway, so then we can tell him after we've already figured it all out, and then it'll be a funny story. This might... <laughs> no, I think... I think we should... I think, uh... I think this should be private, but... Lying about something like this does not... Seem right. Lying... It is lying by omission. And I think it might cause more trouble than good if we hide this. At this point, um, as you stand in the stables, having been distracted in your own heartfelt conversation, you hear a familiar voice from inside the cottage. I told those girls to do a better job. This is, this is clearly not discreet. What were they thinking? Livy will like put a uh, a finger to his to his lips, and he'll. Uh, uh, what is the um? What is the uh? You said it's familiar. Can I mm-hmm. recognize the voice? Is it yeah. gonna stealth yeah. as soon as you tell her to be quiet because she doesn't know what's going on? Not very well, <laughs> but that's a six. <laughs> uh, you hear the voice of the uh, tiefling high priestess. Um, okay, so, inwardly, he's going to swear, uh, very violently, <laughs> um, and he's actually going to do a precipitation, mm-hmm. and he's going to do it outside the house in another direction, and like, the op- the exact opposite direction from, from us. Making a sound? Yeah, so basically he's going to uh, make um, like a running away sound. Like a crackling. Like a, a twig ahead. crackling in the other direction. Yeah. You cast that spell, you hear, what in the world? And she turns um, and you can see her from the window where you are right now looking around. Um, she has a few city guard with her. Uh, and she turns and and begins to stride towards that part of the house. Um, um, and as you're watching through the window uh, to get a good gauge on when to make a run for it for yourselves, you watch Guinevere pass in front of a mirror. 
and she has no reflection. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, no. We got, oh, shit. Yeah, no. Um, the, like, <laughs> Livy's gonna, go, like, grab Zippa's wrist, and as soon as, like, she, tur- like, as soon as, like, it is safe, he is going to, like, book it with her. All right. As you both run away, uh, the, sh- the distraction being sufficient enough to not get caught, um, Zippa, as you run, you step on a frog, and it kind of crunches and explodes under your feet. So and <laughs> as you do that, you realize, after that moment, looking down, that there are frogs and snails and crickets everywhere. How did that um, escape my notice the first time? <laughs> it just, it just has happened. Like we're by the water, they right? Weren't there. I'm sorry. We're by the docks, the water, right? You're very close to the ocean, but it's yes. it's an unnatural amount of like frog. It's an unnatural amount. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Uh, How far away from me are we from the ocean? What's that about? Um, you're probably four city blocks from the ocean. Oh god damn it! Um, I don't know how many frogs that live in the ocean. Yeah, this is... Yeah, like, let's ignore them. Run, 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 run. <laughs> like, try to try to avoid them as best we can, but we gotta go. We gotta power... We gotta book it. All right. You guys Actually, let's, it. like... I, I grab, like, Ziba and, like, go to the ocean. Can I do a quick... I don't know if you want to... Look, like, a quick perception check as we're running by. Just get a little more information on this, because I would be intrigued. Yeah, give me a perception check. What you, better than what passive you, nine. What do you want to know? Um, does it seem like they're moving or like in a like are they moving at all? Are they going in a certain direction or like just are they congregating out. in a certain area? Are they only within her yard or is it like multiple houses yards? As soon as you get out onto the street, they slow they start to dissipate and disappear. Um, but I would say, as you look back behind you to take this look, uh, you see just a flash. You're not even really sure what exactly has happened, but one of the frogs uh, seems to transform into a small creature. Uh, with horns and pointed ears, uh, arms and spiked claws and a tail, little warts and scales all over itself. Um, And it starts kind of like yelling and jumping towards you, but then uh, quickly decides that's not the best. Sorry, my cat's out on my keyboard, so I'm going to re-say that. Uh, Quickly decides it's not the best uh, way to to go forward. Ah! Go, go. We ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> we're, we're, we're already running. Go. Go, 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 yeah, go. Yeah, so we run away. Um, All head right. to the ocean. You run towards the ocean from where you are. You um, is there are anywhere for us to, like, um, uh, like, anywhere for us to, uh, on, the, like, he goes onto the sand, and then he looks for somewhere to hide. Yeah. Um, it's sort of like uh, if you were to go continue onto the beach uh, down to the north part, um, there are some docks there that you could hide under if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, he jumps down and hides under the docks. Zippa like, follows well. uh, Livy up until this point, but once they are in a hiding spot, it's gonna start bombarding Livy with questions. Mm-hmm. Be like, what, what, uh, what was that? Sh- what, did, what did she mean that they, she sent them there? Why would the church do that? The church is supposed to help people. Why didn't she have an reflection? Sh- what the fuck Ziva, is those Ziva. Sh- Let, uh, Livy tries to hear a perception, like, he stresses her and tries to, like, hear if they're being followed. Yeah, give me a perception check. Fourteen doesn't seem like you're being followed he'll wait like 
a few minutes just to double check. Since I was told to be quiet, I'll stealth again. Not well! <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> Levy- You're not even wearing armor. How are you so I loud? Just, I'm not a good swimmer, apparently. I don't know. Levy, okay. did you there was a bunch of snails in the last the one. the journal in your bag? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, he put- Yeah, he, he hit the journal away. He put it in his bag. Cool. I made Which sure to say that. Which is waterproof. Because- because I was really scared of uh, of someone finding it or seeing it, so I'm really glad I said that. Yeah. I vividly remember that point, because I'm like, ooh, this will be very interesting in the future <laughs> how this goes. Um, All right, great. You okay. hide in the docks for a few moments, and you wait for footsteps, but none seem to follow. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Um, and he'll start climbing out. Why did we run here? What's going on? What What the hell just happened? All right. First, don't swear, young lady. Secondly, <laughs> um, <laughs> secondly, um, I definitely think the church is lying to us, or at least whoever is in charge. I always but knew she was a condescending they're jerk. Supposed to, they're supposed to help people. Mashira didn't, wouldn't want it that way. They're supposed to be heroes. What? The unfortunate truth is that sometimes people in power are not always nice or are liars. Like, uh, did you ever have a teacher that was a jerk? But, I mean... <laughs> Uh, Sometimes I think you have to go to class to know if they're jerks. Um, I mean, I I got in fights with my siblings, but like we would always make up, and like we would play Sometimes. pretend war all the time as children. That's how I learned how to use a sword. But like, no one, no one, no one ever got hurt. No one, you, no one ever almost died. You almost died, and then now the church isn't helping people, and you're telling me Mashira isn't a hero. And what what is that supposed to be for me? What uh, I'm supposed will... to do something in my life, and I don't know. What doing anymore. Livy will hug Ziva. Oh. It's okay. Now, I am... Do you want to take deep breaths? Or do you just want to cry? Either no, is fine. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> okay, let's take some deep breaths then. Okay? What, what are okay. we gonna tell the others? Okay, I definitely think we should be honest. This is very big. And also, did um, Libby and if you see want, that demonic frog thing, or is that just. No, he, he didn't. Um, okay, good. I'll have nightmares of that. <laughs> will, uh, <laughs> will Ziba mention that to Libby? She made a passing comment when she was bombarding you with a lot of questions. I'm not sure if you caught so, it. Well, um. Alright. First thing I want to. Ziba, if you want to, you don't have to do this. I will personally guarantee that you go home safely. This is very dangerous. I know you want to be a hero, and I think that's wonderful. Ziba but you always have the option to leave. This, and I think she's going to take a bit to like fully respond to you. So don't take that as silence as ignoring you. Um, I think like he'll he'll be quiet until like he'll assume that she's just thinking about this and he'll yeah. respectfully be quiet. And then Ziba's, Ziba's gonna look at me and go, "No, my whole life I wanted a hero, and I wanted to be a hero, and all my siblings laughed at me because they told me that wasn't a realistic plan. But this, we need heroes. This world needs heroes. My siblings." And my younger siblings, they, they need someone to look up to, just as I looked up to my siblings. And everyone needs someone to look up to. So, if there's not a hero now, I'm still going to be that hero. Okay. It's very brave of you. And if you want to, you can always leave and there is no shame. But I will respect your decision to stay, okay? Now, we're going to have to be honest with them. This is very big. And if they noticed us, uh, the church, it's not fair uh, 
for them to be in a bad association with us without their knowledge. We got. We have to be honest. We, we about have to be adults about this. Party? Now, what did you mean about cursed frog? Yes, I meant the party. Sorry. Oh, you know the 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 frogs and the snails, and then I look back, and then it suddenly had horns, which I don't know why, but somehow is freakier than the no reflection thing. And it it looked uh, it looked at us, and it like grew tail, and then it didn't. I look. Can I Probably recognize? Don't look at people, right? Can I recognize that description from what she's saying? <laughs> Um, give me a religion or a history check. Oh, wow. I wonder which one the historian is going to choose. <laughs> Hard choice there. 16. Uh, yeah, you remember uh, in one of your courses in college, you had to do a, a history class on um, fiends and demonic creatures. And this is a small creature that is known to follow around more powerful demonic beings. Well, Zippa, I think a demon is infecting the church. That's a fiend. And it follows bigger fiends and demons. It might be... Demons? Those are real? I thought they were just a story. No, they are unfortunately very real. And I think that uh, we might need a hero to get rid of them, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. She's processing a lot right now. All All right. right. Now let's go back and inform our friends of the bad situation we have gone in. Leo Freak's not going to be happy. He's probably going to be more upset than that time I didn't tell him about the apples. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think this might be a little... I think this might be a two apple bag situation of bad. I love that unit of measurement. (laughs) All of Leo Freak's anger now in apples. (laughs) <laughs> all right you all climb up out from under the dock uh, a few of the sailors uh on their ships partying singing in the distance uh their sea shanty songs echo behind you as you move forward there are still a few people on the streets but uh even though you're probably on high alert you don't see any uh any acolyte robes which you would recognize and you definitely don't see guinevieve uh as you head back to the drunken stump Anchor standing in his rest in the corner, um, and Leo Fritch and Keg having gone to bed. All right. Um, Leo Fritch is going to be really pissed off at me, but we're going to have to wake him up. Uh, is the bartender still awake? Yeah, there's still patrons here. It's probably like. 10, 10 30 p.m. All right. Um, Ziba, do you want a room by yourself or do you want to share? Ziba's going to lean in close because she feels like she can be a little more vulnerable with you now and be like, what, what do adults typically do? <laughs> um, Ziba, the most adult thing to do is be honest with your emotions. That's what adults typically, or what adults should do. Then I kind of, I kind of want to share a room if that's okay. Just a little freaked out by seeing a demon and didn't know they were real. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's why I asked. Um, but just, just tonight, I can, I can be independent tomorrow, for sure. Of course. Uh, I forgot. I forgot I was on mute, but. Uh... <laughs> I asked earlier, what happened to the wolf pup? Oh, I, yeah. she, I'm assuming Ziba probably handed it off to you with, or put in the pile of all the other pups before she left. Because you counted five. You said you took five pups with you upstairs, okay. so. 
I'm assuming you took the pup back at some point. Six. <laughs> yeah, Zip. I have. I have I a feeling that Zippa is like. Yeah, you have five. That's what I thought. Yeah. I think five. Zippa okay. is like one of those kids who really wants a puppy and will. Oh no, that's an exact. Take care. Of- <laughs> yeah, it's, Zippa will take care of the puppy as much as a twelve-year-old will take care of that puppy. Which is not a lot. Okay. No, I was like, she'll sometimes walk in, <laughs> and if you pester her, she'll feed the it. water. <laughs> no, puppy. Oh my god, that'd be puppy. so sad. No, it's definitely up with you drinking its milk. That's what I assume. <laughs> That's funny that you asked that a long time ago, and we just didn't. Know. <laughs> we just like we're wee <laughs> up in the air. Wee puppy, let's throw it as we jump. Can you imagine we went through that whole ordeal with a puppy in hand. <laughs> with a puppy. <laughs> that might explain <laughs> the really bad stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> I just yeah, just use it as a distraction. Quick, ditch the puppy. One more episode in the books. Thank you again for listening. If this is your first episode, go back and listen to the others. What are you doing? Do you have any idea what's going on? Uh, If you've continued to listen, thank you for continuing to show up, continuing on this journey with us, this crazy adventure. We love you all. Like, subscribe, comment, follow, leave a review, anything that you want. We're on all the socials. We're on all the platforms. Do what you can where you can. Tell your friends. If you want to support us more, you can find us on Patreon. You'll get early access to episodes, access to the Discord community, access to behind the DM screen, as well as monthly Q&As with the cast. Lots of good goodies there. Uh, We hope to see you over there and... Yeah, thanks so much. Intro and outro by Nolan Clock. Engineered produced by myself, Mystic Musings, a.k.a. Sierra. Have a great day! Mm-hmm.